Sparkster did very well in school. He graduated. Opa summa cum laude. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, my friends. I hope you are well. Thank you for being here. Welcome to Rocket Knight Adventures. That one hurt my head. <laughs> uh, welcome in, my friends. Uh, Zergling, good to have you here. First in chat tonight. I hope you're doing great. I had chicken fajitas for dinner tonight. I'm sure you would be curious to know. Sir Rack of Lamb is close behind with Lucent Jelly and Game and Fit. Pleasure to have all of you here, of course. Uh... Oh no, Game and Fit. Well, I uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, hopefully, hopefully, if you had to pester anybody, you were uh, you were well justified. Uh, look at this game. It's positively delightful. Uh, Jelly should animate a frowny loading starting soon screen. <laughs> I'll try to pass that on to her. Mile Hyrule, welcome in. Good to have you here. Brain too broke, don't get it. I'm sorry, Gabe and Fit. Indeed, I've got you expecting it now, Zergling says. Having a pound and a half of ground beef with grated cheese on top tonight myself. Right on. I might actually have to have something for different for dinner tomorrow, though. I've run out of ingredients for chicken fajitas. <laughs> so, uh, this is a game I've never played. Um, I had Sparkster on the Super Nintendo uh, when I was a kid. And I remember liking that game quite a bit. I don't know if I ever beat it. It's so hard at the end. There's a boss near the end of that game that is just brutal. So uh, we might try that one on the stream too and see if I can beat it for what's probably the first time. I don't remember ever beating it. But I thought we'd play this one first. Um, Sparkster is a character that, uh, that just uh, has a lot of qualities that were like things that I really loved when I was a kid. I mean... He's a knight, he has a jetpack and a sword, and he's a he's a he's a cute, quirky animal character. Like there's just so much. There's so much to absolutely love about the uh, Sparkster character. Hey Ricky, welcome in. Pleasure to have you here. Love this game. This is on the Genesis, yeah. The uh, the Super Nintendo game is uh, I believe it's a completely different game. Um, the Super Nintendo didn't get the first game. Super Nintendo only got the second one. I don't know how similar or different. I think there's a there's Rocket Knight Adventures on the Genesis, and then there's Sparkster, which I think is on both the Genesis and the SNES. But I don't know how similar they are. I assume probably pretty close. But uh, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna finally try this game out, and I'm expecting uh, I have very high hopes. I'm expecting very good things. It's probably I mean if it's like the SNES game that I had though, it's probably gonna be pretty difficult toward the end. So let's hope I can actually beat it. It's not Taz. Anything but Taz, please. Um, level. It starts us off on easy by default. No, we can't do that. Well, maybe we can. Oh, look at that. It, it's got. It has a difficulty labeled children. <laughs> easy. Normal, hard, and children. So it it might just be uh oh. 
I better not mess those up. Jump. Mm, jump, attack, attack. I don't know what's going to feel most natural for me. Probably want attack, attack, jump. I probably feel more like a... game that I would be used to. Um, well, I think the difficulty is probably just how many um, lives and credits you get. All right, we'll start. We'll, uh, we're going to start off on easy. So hard mode it is. <laughs> no, let's. Uh, it was on easy by default. I will not. I will not let my fr my pride lead us into. I will not let my pride leave us lead us into ruination. <laughs> I'll leave it at the default. Sparkster Sparkster's a lot of money on the SNES or the Genesis, Sir Rack of Lamb. Both. I only have the Super NES version, so uh, that does not bode well for a playthrough of the Genesis version. Where's baby mode? I'm insulted, Game and Fit says. Hey, ghouls, welcome in. Pleasure to have you here. Love Rocket Knight, right on. I am uh, I had Sparkster as a kid. I'm trying this one out for the very first time right now. If this is Sega Genesis easy mode is like Battletoads difficulty. Wow, that's uh that's wildly expensive. Yeah, I don't think uh I don't think I'll be adding any other Sparkster titles to my collection. I grew up with Sparkster on SNES too, right on. I uh I was just saying I don't think I've ever beaten that game. Because that's one of the ones like it gives you a fake ending if you play it on easy mode. And on normal mode, it gets so hard at the end. I don't. I don't think I could ever beat the uh, the boxing the the boss where it's like a boxing match in space. I don't know if I ever got past that. This game is thirty dollars. Of course, the one I have would be cheap. The ones I need would be uh, unobtainable. It's crazy hard for me. Normal was so scary with the factory on stage too. Yeah. Yeah, easy mode skipped that level. Wow, look at this guy. He looks great. I love this character. He's super rad. Three little pigs. We've got like a Zelda style energy beam. I assume it's gonna go away when I take a hit. Ah! It didn't go away. Oh, easy game. No problem then. That go sign immediately yelling at me. His sword is weird. Can I jump? Okay, you can go between the layers. 
Right on. Oh. It's got, like, the sky. It looks really, like, the distance looks really good. Like, there's not a, you know, there's not a whole lot of detail in those scrolling layers, but, uh... Oh my goodness! What did, where did this guy come from? And he's got a friend? I like it. I like the look of the game. It's, uh... It's got a, a very... A very cool aesthetic to it. Everything, all the artwork looks great. The burning houses. I mean, they're kind of samey, right? <laughs> Kind of a lot of the same stuff repeating again and again, but. Now we can go up here. <gasps> One up! Don't mind if I do. Completing boxes about three times more. Yeah, but I mean, I don't even. I don't even bother. Like, I don't even think about complete inbox prices for games. Those are always, uh, those are always just a joke. I'd have to sell my car to buy anything complete in box. It's free beam sword? Piece of cake, yeah. Unfortunately for you, sir, I'm the main character, Game and Fit says. This game is setting off my cuteness threshold. <laughs> Wait! You are an armor dillo who has sonic spin power while wielding the master sword? This game is neat, sir, Man says. <laughs> Ooh, that water, though. I'm in the waterfall? What is happening? I thought it was over. That water looked pretty terrible, I have to say. <laughs> this looks great, though. Look at those mountains in the distance. It's beautiful. The stage still isn't over, it just goes on and on. Right on. Oh, I'm still above the water. Can I go into it? I can. It doesn't put out my rocket pack. Hey, this game is great. This game has it all I wanted, Game and Fit says. We're off to a very promising start. And we're already fighting another boss. My health situation is rather poor. Okay, I kind of need a level end or a power up. Smash right through the wall. I got neither. Oh, there's a health there, though. Oh, they're all panicking. I thought they were enemies. That I think they're our friends. Give me the game or suffer the consequences, Game and Fit says. 
how could you forget the rocket pack? Let me, uh, if I missed any of the chat, my apologies. I'm trying to keep up. There's a secret over there. Nope. I haven't even really thought to be looking around for secrets very much. The run! I'm very near to the grave. Thanks for the wheel, Gaming Fit. Ah, oh, there's no pause music. I would just leave it playing, but I think we're going to keep hearing that let's go whistle again and again and again. See what we get. I think I've had sunflower seeds twice in a row. Surely I can't get it three times. I can't even read what that is. It's on purple. Purple is fiery habanero sauce. Right on. That's like the most, I think that's the most mild sauce currently on the board. That is the Gold Label, Marie Sharp's Habanero Pepper Sauce, Fiery Hot Edition. No, no seeds. Those sunflower seeds are scary. They actually weren't that bad. I was so terrified that the level 3 sunflower seeds were going to immediately liquefy me. But, uh... They actually weren't bad. Let's get myself a cracker. Do you have many left? What, the sunflower seeds? I've got three portions of level three heat, and I've got four portions of level four and level five each. So, like, 11. I've got 11 more doses of sunflower seeds left. I'm try to be fairly generous without spilling it. gonna say my initial thought was ooh that's quite refreshing ah, because the sauce itself is pleasantly cool but the pepper inside it ah. is anything but Oh. I actually really like that though. That that I haven't had that in a while. I haven't had that sauce in a while and the flavor just the flavor of the sauce is better than I remember it. Very hot though. I've killed him, Game and Fit says. 
actually did, but I but it was a it was a while ago that I ate Sir Eck of Lamb. I've had time to uh, de-escalate. It looked delicious based on your reaction. Ghoul says it actually it actually was good. I I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, flavor wise, get my big head out of the way. I think we're okay. I think we're ready to continue. I've been taking apple cider vinegar one to three times a day. In the day, I actually tasted some sweetness from it. Game and Fit says, "I don't can't say that I've ever had that." I don't understand how this part of the game is supposed to work. I would compare the taste of vinegar to hard alcohol. It tastes like fire water. Level one was uh, was was great. Level two, I'm having a hard time. I may get to play level one again very soon, though. Rocket Knight is in the Castle of Scorching. <laughs> something wrong. Hey, Dynamite, welcome in. I'm, uh, I'm trying not to burn to death right now. That's pretty much what's going on with me at the moment. <laughs> it's not going so well. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh. Well, you have to get all the jewels. can't go back through the doors. And when you get in front of the door, you don't actually go through it. Uh, you automatically go through the door. You don't press a button. But uh, yeah, we're trying out we're trying out Rocket Knight Adventures on the Genesis. This is my first time ever playing it. And uh, very good first impressions. I, uh, I like what little I've played so far. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you're doing well this evening. One up, nice. I'm not going anywhere without that one up. I didn't trust that. that. I 
don't know if they can come in here or not. Ooh, there's some fruit. Don't mind if I do. This is my very first time ever playing this game in fit. I had the sequel to this on the Super Nintendo when I was a kid, but I've never played this one. thing that's running around. I don't know what to make of it. Oh, easy. Ah! Uh. Cool boss music. again. Oh no! Uh-oh. eyes are like half closed he seems so unconcerned <laughs> now when you're right you're right this is more like it dynamite says i'm happy that you approve my friend sleepy night adventures I guess I can't, uh, I guess I can't blame him for having, uh, half-closed eyes. We are a late-night stream. Stage two, here we come. This is very uh, difficult to read body language. I just, I don't know, I don't, I, I think I just don't like waterfalls on the Genesis. As great as this game looks, the waterfall is like... These beanstalks are very slippery. Saw one up. We've got to get it. Oh no! I. Oh, those are spikes at the top of the screen there. That's, uh... There we go. A little dangerous. 
Anything to do with water, I say nay. <clears throat> I hope you're not really telling me something about the game, Dynamite. Thank you. I didn't really think you would. I was kind of shocked. <laughs> I didn't really think you would, but... I don't know what I don't know, you know? What? Oh. You have to ride it to transition from the front to the back. Echo the Dolphin. Ah, uh, what a gross game. None of that really happens. You got me. You got me. All right. This is uh this is very cool. Oh, wait. Do I want to go back? No. Hang on a moment. No, I can't even go back. I thought yeah, I thought it would be good for them to hide a secret back in the direction I came from, behind the waterfall. Would have been a clever move, but uh, it would appear they did not do that. Throw the blue shell. Avoid the bananas. That's more like it. Oh, I control this one. Uh -huh. Oh? Oh. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Oh, I missed the jump. <gasps> oh, now this is going to be a boss fight right here. <laughs> No. Tough. Itarama, welcome in. Pleasure to have you here, Itty. on boss number five or six already oh, i've lost count they're everywhere they're everywhere in this game oh Oh, he was aiming for me. Oh, wait a minute. He can hit he can hit me when he's on the other side. I can hit him when I'm on the other side. What's the point of the waterfall? I thought we'd have to be on the same side to damage each other. Apparently the side shifting thing is just here to confuse me. Victory. <laughs> Don't mind if I have some apples. Uh, I always hated water on the Genesis, uh, Ricky says. It's uh, it's pretty rough, this uh, water effect, 
and it looks very similar to the water in um, Contra Hardcore. There's a waterfall. That water isn't actually, well, I'm going to say that water isn't actually transparent, but the boss does come up behind it. It's mostly just waterfalls. The, wa the water itself is fine. I can't actually think of a transparent waterfall in an 8 or 16-bit game that I... Like, I can't think of an example of one that looks good, though. about to joke about pulling off a, a pro move before I even did that, and then, like, it really was. Except, well, maybe I do want to go back up there. I don't know if I've got a branching path situation here, or if I've got a bonus area situation. Oh, it's bonus! It's, it's health! I thought there was more to this area up here. That's why I backed out of it. I didn't see the health before. <laughs> Game gives a lot of flashbacks to hardcore already. We needed more Rocket Knight in uh, gaming and less Gex and James Pond and other garbage animal characters in games. <laughs> Must be some limitation, it always looks rough. I think Actraiser had some okay water levels. Can't remember if there was waterfalls or not, Dynamut says. I actually haven't played Actraiser. I've heard it's good. Most of the water I can think of is, like, opaque, right? Like, there's water in, like, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, but it's not transparent. Or, you know, Mario Brothers 2... He says SNES looked better in my opinion. Uh, had advanced graphics support. This is written by an AI, this paragraph. Genesis lacked built-in support for such effects, leading developers to use effective techniques like dithering, resulting in less visually appealing water effects. Actually quite like the reflective water trick in stage two of Bloodlines, Chompy says. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. It's uh It's one of the better effects. I like I like that they really swung for the fences with the effects in Bloodlines. The only thing is that like a lot of times when they've got like when there's some really large effect happening like, the seams where, like, larger things are made up of sm smaller sprites are, uh, they make things look pretty rough. There's a lot of, there's a lot of spots where, like, things look 
really, like, roughly stitched together in, in bloodlines. I wasn't paying attention, and I perished. Uh, the Tower Gargoyle fight in Bloodlines is crazy, though. Almost looks like uh, Saturn Ghoul says. I did the right thing, but I still perished. I don't know if that one-up will respawn, but if it does, we're okay. We'll be able to get it. Think no. I've got to. I've got to learn how to get this one up. I won't rest satisfied until I until I obtain it. In the Super Nintendo game, you can use the shoulder pads to, um, to, like, rocket, like, dash left or right. Um, not like the charge rocket, but, like, just, like, a short dash. And, uh, I would know what to, I would know what to do if I were playing that one. kids, my neighbor had a Super Famicom Actraiser. Half the game was text-based in Japanese and in create mode like SimCity or something. Somehow we wrote down our versions of what the Japanese words were on the screen and memorized how to say the right commands in Japanese and we beat it. Keep in mind we were like 10. That's a... That's incredible dynamite. I don't think I would have been able to... I don't think I would have been able to... Uh, I don't think I would have been able to... To do anything near like that. Genius discovered gaming that says. I give you my Nickelodeon Kids Choice Award. Lots of things about Bloodline aren't Bloodlines aren't necessarily great, but are interesting. Some of the sound effects, for example. Yeah, Bloodlines. I don't know. I it's. 
it's kind of a it's kind of a rough game, but I really like it. Hey, I think I got it. Nice. We're uh, we're released. No, I missed out. Well, I don't. My health is full. It doesn't matter. It fooled me. The last time those X's meant there was land under me. This game is untrustworthy. There's a lot of these guys, my goodness. This chicken is just going to follow me now, like we're best friends. No. Very odd. Probably I was smarter than Dynamite says. Oh. <laughs> the Gear Boss and Bloodlines. You guys have no inner child if you can't love that. The Gear Boss. The Gear Boss is so silly. Hitting the big enemy with the whip sound effect is very unusual, Chompy says. Definitely doesn't fit Dynamite Agrees. This is your favorite boss, Ghoul says. Right on.
I actually have to fly over him. He moves back and forth all on his own, it would seem. Hey, Williamsburg. Agent Frowny is my favorite boss. Thank you. That is very kind of you. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. Hands are vulnerable. Three. This feels like Contra Hardcore right here. Klinger Winger, he can beat anything. <laughs> as long as I'm as long as I'm willing to try for 95 hours. <laughs> Looks very similar to one of the motorcycle bosses in hardcore. It does the like dropping like egg thing. Hey, look, it's the same, it's the same water effect. Not bad. I like, forget how much color is going on. We got blue platforms, red water, green backgrounds. It looks great. It was so hard not to spoil this when someone brought up bloodlines. <laughs> much appreciated. Oh, there's two, there's two enemies in hardcore though that have a, like a, like a bouncy projectile that you have to avoid there's the there's like that that blue insect on stage two when you chase after dead-eyed joe and then the the big bird at the end of the uh the one of the storylines oh we've got some crystals growing oh and they're obstructing my view Oh, that's cool. Because the the foreground obstructs your view, so you have to so you have to use the uh, the reflection to see what you're doing. I think is what they're gonna be going for. Oh, I should watch. There might be like a, a one up or something hidden. Ah. I think that stuff instantly kills me. I don't think it's water, I think it's lava.
Yep. You see, look, I have to use the reflection to see where the platforms are. It's like, uh... It's like the water stage and the castle of uh, Bloodlines all rolled into one now. Oh, I'm on the edge. I kind of like this. <laughs> one up. Don't mind if I do. Off the roof. This is uh, this is rough. These uh, fish, these fish are difficult to deal with. Timers, yeah, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I don't hate time limits in video games, but I kinda hate time limits in video games. <laughs> Again, the hands are vulnerable. This is going to be very awkward. Wasn't being very thoughtful. <laughs> Look, 
Look at that steam effect on the background. <laughs> Really moving. Oh my goodness. Where are you vulnerable? Mind if I do? Uh, there's a guy inside. Oh, we're gonna do it again. That's kind of cool. Not a whole lot of health, though. <laughs> Victory. Hey, Hooked on Pot, welcome in. Thanks for the raid the other day, no problem. Happy to drop in, especially when I... Especially uh, when I see you enjoying something uh, a little bit more retro. Made it through the lava fish awfully quickly. Well, we are playing... The game by default is set to easy difficulty, so we are playing on easy difficulty. I think if I make it through, we'll give it a try on, you know, something a little harder. But I figured for, uh... I figured for my first playthrough, I would go with the default setting. If there's a if there's a children mode, that means easy is for adults, right? This uh, reminds me of a Sonic level. And Donkey Kong. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like this barrel part. Sorry, I just... I know there's got to be like a one-up or something hidden, right? I've got to go looking for it. Hey, I'm wrong. Children mode is impossible. Anything above that is completely catastrophic. <gasps> no! What a catastrophe.
Oh my goodness. I really don't like that barrel part now. Sadness. We just lost all of our progress. The night is young, though. I'm okay with taking it from the top. Game over. I should have played on children mode. I would have had like five credits. Health, just when I need it. slow down there. I like this part. I like this is great. It feels very adventurous and heroic. I like the music, I like the visuals. Flying along, stirring up the water. Kind of. I lost a ton of lives on this level last time, so fingers crossed that I can handle this fire section better this time. <laughs> Off to a bad start.
It's so weird. I'm just... Uh, I'm not really sure how that part's supposed to work yet. I don't know. One of these games where it took a few game overs before parts like this uh, fire section really clicked with me. Yeah, I mean, I imagine I'll, I imagine I'll figure it out with enough tries. It's just, uh, it's a shame being in this part of the process, right? I had to do it. I had to get all the crystals. I can't can't just leave one there. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh, you know what? This boss reminds me of the big robot at the start of uh, Hardcore. I mean, I guess there's like uh, there's like a ton of video game bosses that are kind of like this. Big guy in the background with arms. Now you now you're getting the hardcore vibe. Well, I've 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 picked up I've picked up on that a little bit. So this is is this a is this a Konami game? It must be, right? It's so similar. Oh, 
At the same time as Bloodlines and Hardcore. Uh, it's not hard to look for parallels, yeah. Yeah, I can definitely see them. This boss. Not bad. Uh, except I'm on the wrong side of the world. That boss is a little confusing, but uh, not bad. Not bad. Whoa. The swimming is a little awkward, but I, I actually like it. It feels like I kind of think it's how swimming should feel. Like you, it's a it's a little awkward because uh, your character always wants to float back up to the surface. So like you you're, you're constantly like fighting against that when you want to swim downward or when you want to hold your your altitude or whatever. <laughs> But, uh, there's a, there's a, like, there's a natural, like, logic to that, that I think it's actually really good, even though it feels weird. Sometimes the top of the screen is a barrier, and sometimes it's not. And, uh, I haven't figured out if that's consistent or not yet. Like, if it's a barrier when you're, like, in a cave or indoors, but it's not when you're, like, outside like this, like, I could be fine with that. But I'm not sure that there's a consistent logic to it yet. Thank you. 
Moving through these hands is it's a little scary. I almost did that phase without taking damage. I don't regret, you know, having a game over and replaying these stages. It's like, a, you know, it's a bummer not to see the new stuff right away, I guess, on the one hand, but... It's nice, like, when you've got a little bit of, a, of, a, of experience, you can go through a lot more smoothly. <laughs> It's a joy to that as well. Ah, uh, it was a little too slow. There's a part of the melody to that song and that first part of the stage that sounds like a Christmas song. <laughs> hey, Chozo, welcome in. <laughs> I was thinking that too. Uh, Sir Heck of Lamb said, yeah, it sounds like uh, angels we have heard on high. Oh, it's the same song. Welcome to Rocket Knight Adventures, Chozo. It's great to have you with us. This is a first playthrough, but I did a, I got a game over a stage or two after this, so I'm, I'm replaying stuff that I just saw for the first time. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm having a good time. I had, a, I had Sparkster on the Super NES growing up. So, like, I knew the character... And this is, game is pretty similar to what I remember of that one. But I haven't ever actually tried this one out until now. It's a lot of fun. It's 
got an awful lot of uh, bosses. I really like the aesthetic of the game. Where I took damage this there just now. I mean, it's my fault because I wasn't paying attention, but part of the reason I wasn't paying attention is because it occurred to me just now to try uh, double tapping to see if there was a double tap to run mechanic. And uh, it would appear there's not. <laughs> That was probably the worst possible place I could have decided to try uh, to try that out. Extra health is uh, is nice. Whoa! I took this guy out in two cycles last time. I'm going slower this time. I was slower by one hit. Konami's Genesis 4A was amazing and not given enough credit, in my opinion, Dynamite says. This game, Bloodlines, Hardcore, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Lethal Enforcers, Tiny Toons, and Double Dribble. I, uh, you had me for the first four of those. I mean, this is still my first time playing this game. But I like, uh, yeah, I, I would say, I would say I'm really enjoying this game. I like Hardcores, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, Bloodlines. I really like all three of those. I've only, I've only played Zombies Ate My Neighbors on, um, Super Nest, though. I haven't tried that on the Genesis. The uh, the other three there, though, I haven't tried those games. Fish in the tomato soup, boss. Welcome to the stream, my new friend. Thank you for the follow. Very much appreciate you coming on board with us. And I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Alright, this is where I game over before. <laughs>
the really <laughs> this stage is so this is so much easier this is so much easier than I was making it too although I'm still not convinced there isn't a one-up hidden somewhere it's so, it's so easy. I made that so difficult. I can't believe how difficult I made that for myself. That was so easy. <laughs> Why in the world would I ever go up there with that robot still on there when I could wait and take him out? Oh, here we go. I'm scared. <laughs> I was right to be scared. I'm so... I'm such a blockhead. <laughs> it's okay. We got the one up. We'll be all right. Uh, the colors are a little washed out on your end. Um... That's, uh, not that unusual. I don't tend to mess with the uh, settings all that much. It looks similar, but uh, it is a little less washed out on my end. That might make it slightly better. My, uh, my capture device doesn't really handle extreme bright and darkness very well, so... <laughs> and particularly, it doesn't handle... Um, it seems to have a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble with um, dark colors all being smashed together. So I tend to keep it, o I tend to keep it over bright in the capture, which washes it out a bit. Cows, welcome in. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to an amazing game, cows. We're having a good time tonight. This is uh, Rocket Knight Adventures on the Genesis, and it is wonderful. Oh! That did not work like I thought it was going to. So I fired down at a diagonal angle because I thought it would bounce me back up at, a, at the opposite diagonal angle. I was wrong. I kind of just sailed straight through him to my demise. How unusual. Glad to hear it. Yeah. That I'm that I'm not suffering. I wasn't trying to do that, but yeah. Oh no. I gotta be careful. Oh yeah, re regenerating one-ups are extremely helpful.
Oh, cool. Oh, we, we drop his uh, minions on him. Oh, that is cool. What a fun game. Sixteen bit mini bosses often were like uh, animated Swiss Army knives uh, with uh, wacky and varied attacks and weapons. I like that comparison. The copy of uh, the copy of Smash TV I had coming to me on the NES may not arrive. I've been following the uh, I've been following the tracking number, and uh, it shipped out of uh, Pennsylvania, but the last three updates have come from Puerto Rico, <laughs> three different cities, and I have no idea why. <laughs> I have no idea why it would have gone down there on the way over to Wisconsin, <laughs> but I'm thinking I'm thinking the label's been uh, I'm, uh, something's gone wrong, and it's it's I'm thinking it's never gonna make it to me. <laughs> I think the label must be like stuck to some other package or something. <laughs> the boss vulnerable of course in the in the spot that reveals itself the glowing red orb just like every other boss in every video game ever <laughs> I survived the boss and then the little and then the little guy over there finished me off. And again.
That's a little bit of a detour. <laughs> Sir of Lamb says, yeah. The boss music of this game is perfect. I was I, I was admiring it earlier. We've got little story cutscenes happening between the levels too. This is great. This is a this is a fantastic game. I'd had a Genesis as a kid instead of a Super Nintendo. This like this might have been my favorite game. <laughs> this game is wonderful. I really hope it doesn't do anything to me to make me hate it. just like Battletoads. Building tops are pigs, they are. It's like, um... It's like the city of... It's like the city of Gotham in, uh... Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. Like, where all the buildings are, like, giant statues. <laughs> this is, like, the equivalent of that. an homage to Gradius. No! I can do so much better than this. Game is half steampunk. It is, it is.
Uh, I don't know where to go. That was some that was some threading the needle right there. Uh oh. My health. My health is doing bad. It's him or me. No, he's still alive. Well, I hung in there for a bit. Diesel punk. I've only heard that used word used to describe a metal slug, but it kind of fits here. Ah, uh, the big core from Gradius. Buildings are pigs. Almost look like the pigs from Star Wars. I don't think I know of any pigs in Star Wars. I put a picture of the pigs I was talking about in the Discord. Thank you, sir, Rack of Lamb. <laughs> Hey, Tally, welcome in. Here goes Agent Frowny murdering another game I was never able to beat. Well, we'll, we'll see about that. Don't give me uh, too much credit just yet. I'm, uh, I'm struggling on this stage. I'm cautiously optimistic, though. I didn't have much in him that time. Game is much better than Sparkster. Sparkster is just okay. Um, I haven't replayed Sparkster in a very long time. But, uh... I might be inclined to agree that this is a better game. I'd have to play them both to be sure. Um, who decided to call it that instead of and not Rocket Knight 2? It's probably. So yeah, I, the name Sparkster I'm not crazy about. Um, probably it's not called Rocket Knight 2 because. The first one wasn't on the Super Nintendo, and they decided to put the second one on both of them. So they wanted to give it a title without a number in it. That would be, uh, that would be my guess. 
We're just supposed to get around this guy. Oh, yeah. Are these guys? Oh, oh, we were we were in a race. It's Battle Toads. Oh no, it's Battle Toads again. It's Rat Race. That's the thing about Battletoads, right? It's everywhere. Uh. Sparks here is a different feeling. The levels are big and you have to explore more. Real question is, why do Sparkster on Genesis and Sparkster on SNES have the same name when they're completely different games? Does say Rocket Knight 2 is a subtitle in the game once you start it. No. Oh, that bounce. The rocket, the bounce from the rocket makes it very untrustworthy. Oh, and I have to use it. What a shame. <laughs> If you missed out on a lot of the game, don't worry. There is a very high probability of me having to game over and uh, and uh, getting a game over and having to restart. One up. No. <laughs> that one up was nice. Too bad once you figure it out. Oh, oh, oh. No. I'm glad they gave me a little training room before I had to really use that. I missed one gym. Rip the perfect run. I like this. I like this a lot. No. I'm not good at it. But it's cool. 
There's a one-up up there. How in the world do they expect me to get that one up? No. I don't know. I have to think about that one up. I see. Oh, oh, it's him. This was not one of the uh, Konami games I know death. I want to try now, though. I, uh... I might be up for that myself at some point. Like I'm missing out on a bunch of stuff. <laughs> it was just a banana. <laughs> I was all concerned about having missed out on a banana. Oh, I wanted that one up. Some places the music kind of reminds me of Mortal Kombat. Now we're gonna do a boxing match. This is gonna go bad. This is gonna go badly. Hey, this is like the end of Horus. Oh no, I'm dead. Such variety in the levels and gameplay, just excellent. You can tell the programmers really cared. boxing section at the end of a uh, Sparkster. I think it's why I, I don't think I've ever beaten that game. wasn't so bad. It's a little awkward, but it wasn't so bad. The Goemon games have boxing like that. I think I I think I saw someone playing something like that one night on on stream. Are you gonna escape to that space station up there now? Just 
stage six. Here we go. Pretty cool looking level. Oh, the red things are projectiles. Of course. Unfortunately, unfortunately, as much as I'm enjoying this, I'm also thinking of Air Fortress while I play this. And nothing makes me more unhappy than Air Fortress. <laughs> Hey, Jay, welcome in. Uh, I hope you're doing well, my friend. Welcome to Rocket Knight Adventures on uh, the Genesis. We can work on that guy while he's got that big blast going on. Yo, OG. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Sorry, I want to get caught up there, but there's a lot going on at the moment. Might be a good place to pause it. Let me reset my audio. As well. Think of it as Gradius. Uh, Gradius has come up a lot tonight. Doing okay, Jay says. Very tired. Hope you're having fun with this game. I'm having a great time, Jay. Sorry to hear you're tired. I hope you've got an opportunity to uh, to get some rest. Doesn't surprise me, it's a Konami game. Oh, my audio is still off. Oh nice, and we've got a and we've got a raid. Well, hello raiders. Welcome in Counter Effect. Thank you for the raid. Hope you're doing well. says here you're playing Metal Wolf Chaos XD. I don't know what Metal Wolf Chaos is. I don't think I've heard of this game before. Hopefully it was a good time. Uh, I'm about to die to this boss, but I think we hit a checkpoint, so. We should be alright. I might be on my last credit here. Uh, just a heads up, everyone. I brought Counter over. He's a good friend of mine, Sir Rack of Lamb says. Hey, a friend of Sir Rack of Lamb is a friend of mine. 
There you, there you are. Welcome in, Counter Effect. Thank you for the raid. Let me just take a moment to, uh, since I've already, I don't usually, I don't usually like to pause during um, boss fat boss battles, especially when it's one I haven't played before, but. Uh, I want to take a moment to just click through here and give you a follow. Here to have a good time while playing games that seem interesting or fun. I try to filter myself, but it's not always successful. Thanks for stopping in. I'll be glad to say hello. Be glad to give you another follow counter effect. Maybe I can catch you live sometime if uh, our schedules don't conflict too terribly. Metal Wolf Chaos is a very cool game from the makers of Dark Souls, School says. Really? I found it absolutely hilarious. It's like playing a B-movie. Not over yet. No. This boss is very intense. Hey, Theodoros, welcome in. Welcome to Rocket Knight Adventures. That was ter that was terrible. Oh no, that was my last life too. I shouldn't have done that. I overlapped with the boss and just wasted all my health. I wasn't being very smart. Well, if you uh, if you missed out on our playthrough of uh, Rocket Knight Adventures, don't worry. We're about to restart it. <laughs> Flying multi-stage battleship bosses, such a staple of uh, shooters and 16-bit shooters. I think I need to play. Uh, I think I need to play Gradius. That uh, that game comes up a lot on the stream, and I've never. Uh, I don't even know if I've ever played it. I might have played it on the Famicom. I have a. I have a shooter game on the Famicom, that I'm not sure what it is. And it might be Gradius, but I, if even if that's what it is, I've only ever played just a tiny bit of it. So Rackham Lamb says, I was watching Counter Effect. Voiceover sounds like an as seen on TV ad. <laughs> Wonderful. Sounds like a good time. the voiceover of the game but well, yeah that's what I that's what I assumed <laughs> yeah I don't think I've ever played I don't think I've ever played Gradius and even if I have it's an it's an insignificant amount um, 
it would just be like a just a, a small sampling. It doesn't have any of the bosses like the kind you were talking about. We shall see. Uh, I'm heading off to get some sleep. Have a good night, everyone. Have a great night, Counter Effect. Thank you again for the raid. Appreciate you checking out the stream. Hopefully we'll be able to enjoy your company again sometime soon. Hey, thank you for the follow. Always appreciated. Thank you for that. Hopefully that was a lie too, Dynamite. <laughs> and if not, don't worry. Just don't clarify and I'll never know. the top. I've already taken damage. I've already taken a lot of damage. I'm about to lose a life. <laughs> Some health, please. Some health, please. Game. bounced off those enemies. I bounced myself off those enemies all the way to the far left-hand side of the universe. Oh, thank goodness. Some apples. Stop playing bad at the easy part. <laughs> I know, I know, I, something's wrong with me. I can't believe it. I must have accidentally turned up the difficulty. <laughs> guy you can just get him into a pattern and it's nothing to worry about I can still really use some fruit game The game does not care. No, and I've died. Oh, but I'm right next to the one up. We're fine. We're fine. I didn't lose anything. 
That death never happened. Hey, we have another raid. Yusuf, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. How are you? I was in two of your raids tonight, Sir Rack of Lamb says. <laughs> welcome back, Sir Rack of Lamb. Uh, Conga, welcome to the stream. Hey, good to have you here, my friend. Thank you for uh, shouting out Yusuf for us. We're playing Kingdom Hearts. How is that treating you? My sister, my sister sent me a message today. She told me that she's, uh, she and her husband are playing through Kingdom Hearts, uh, together. She wrote, she said, she said, my husband and I are playing Kingdom Hearts. I really hate Donald Duck. <laughs> that was all she wrote to me. <laughs> Just those two sentences. Almost done. Donald's voice is classic. I am in the uh, I am in the category of, of those who find Donald rather difficult to listen to. <laughs> trying this out. I'm playing this tonight for the first time. I've game over twice though. So I've seen the I've seen the early part of the game a few times already tonight. But uh it's this is my first night ever playing it and uh I'm got high hopes we're going to beat it. I'm really enjoying this game. It's uh it's a lot of fun. I like the aesthetic of it. I like the uh variety and what we get to do. Controls, uh, you know, controls well. There's a, there's a, there's a janky part here and there, but it might be a little early to judge. It could just be, you know, it could just be my unfamiliarity with the game too. So, but uh, yeah, this has been a, this has been a blast so far. I feel like it's it's been hard to say enough like good things about it. Classic doesn't always mean pleasant, Yusuf says. I love that. Oh, that's good. Dynamite says, You called it on the water graphics on Genesis games. I prefer Defend Genesis over SNES six ways from Sunday. But the water is ugly on this and many others. the smoothest I ever made it through that part. You know the real shame? Uh, with all the collections, ports, mini consoles, and everything released by Sega and Konami, uh, Rocket Knight Adventures has never been re-released. 
It's never been re-released, really. That's that's pretty wild. What about the uh, what about on the Switch online? You think it might come to that? The Genesis collection in there? Maybe we get maybe we get maybe uh, maybe that would be a possibility. <laughs> we release it, Cal says. Hey, Defiant Salem, welcome in. Hope you're well. Arrives in chat with all the comic knowledge and references. Remember, kids, fear is the mind killer. Been up to much tonight, Prowny. I've just been playing this game so far. I, uh... This is my, this is my first time playing it, is tonight. I've uh, had a couple game overs, so I know the first few levels pretty well now. It's a good time. It's not on the Switch Online collection, and it really ought to be there, right next to Bloodlines and Hardcore. It really should be. It's almost criminal. I'm a Mario zone in Mario Land 2. Very mechanical zone. Yeah, so according to Mario Land 2, Mario has like a giant battle mech that looks like himself. What does he ever even use that for? Zone is so cool. Tur turtle zone was weird. <laughs> That's the, uh, is that the underwater part?
felt really confused there for a moment. With sharks that can't be harmed. I think my favorite part of Mario Land 2 is still yet to come for you, so I'm not going to talk about it. I mean, I think... I think my I think my favorite part of Mario Land 2 is Mario Land 3 because Mario Land is amazing. <laughs> Mario Land 2 is good, but Wario Land is great. But they're kind of very different things. The Wario games are pure fire. I've only played two of them, but I loved them. I I've, I've, I love Wario Land 1 and 2. They were both really great times. We're gonna do we're gonna do Wario Land 3 this year. I don't know when, but so far I've been doing one a year, so 100% we're gonna do Wario Land 3 this year. Wario Wednesday School says. I'm gonna sound like I'm insane, but what game was Mario Land? Uh, Mario Land is on the Game Boy. There's uh, there's two of them. Uh, I mean, there's technically three, but not really, because the third one is the, is the Super Mario Land three is Wario Land one. But uh, yeah, well, Mario Land one and two are our Game Boy titles, and uh, they're both really good. Uh, if you go into them with the right expectations. <laughs> like, Mario Land 1 is kind of janky and weird, but it's got some... I don't It's got this bizarre charm to it. I think it's a lot of fun. And, uh... Mario Land 2 is, a, is very similar to, like... It's like... It's kind of like a Game Boy version of Mario World. It's very similar, uh, graphically. Yeah, it's it's definitely like you know stripped down in comparison, but uh, but also really good overall. No idea if I missed the star invincibility power up. Uh, they might be harmable. The sharks. Yeah, I couldn't. I don't remember Salem. It's been a it's been a while for me. Mario Land 2 is all those cool, unique worlds. It's not just fire, ice, and grassland. Hey, Buffalo, welcome in. Hope you're having a good stream. I'm having a really good time, my friend. I hope you're having a great night. This game, this game here is magical.
these uh these minecart parts here are really simple. Like you would expect there to be a lot more like ducking and jumping. And... It's uh it's a it's really basic for a minecart section, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> Oh no, it's kind of weird. It's like the minecart levels of uh, whenever I think of Donkey Kong Country, I always think of the minecart levels, and I think only two of the levels in the entire game are minecart levels, and they're not even that similar to each other. Um, they each have in like in one of the levels when you jump, the minecart jumps with you, and in one of them when you jump, you jump out of the minecart. So even though it has two minecart levels, they're both different from each other, and they're what I always think of right away with a Mario, with a with a Mario, with a with a Donkey Kong Country. But I think like I really like I I I I really like those levels, but like minecarts. I don't know, it's weird, because a lot of games have a lot of minecart levels, right? Tasmania ruined minecarts, Conga says. I was thinking of Taz. It's, it's kind of wild to me, Konga, how much you dislike that Tasmania game, because I actually didn't find it to be that bad. I love small parts of it. I mean, I don't think it's a great game by any means. And even calling it good is sort of a stretch, but I mean, it's not, but it's not bad. It's like, it's at least mediocre. <laughs> I think I remember the minecarts from Donkey Kong uh, 1 the most because they're the first really hard bit I encountered in the game. Yeah, I tend to think of them. I think I tend to think of them like my favorite part of the game, too. I think I would have to say it's my favorite level, but they were, they were tough. No doubt. No doubt they were tough. I like Tasmania on Genesis, but I get hating it, Dynamut says. It also helped the game, in my case, that I played so many other worse Taz games before playing it, I think. Red light, green light level in Donkey Kong uh, Country as well is tough. Uh, but one I really liked. Lots of panic involved in it, yeah. Yeah, that, le that level's a real struggle. Oh, I ripped the no-death run. 
I already died once, never mind. <laughs> that would be the second death. I forgot about the death that I told everyone to forget about. <laughs> All of my accomplishments are lies. Does this have limited continues? Yeah, it does. It does. You get... So, it's on easy mode by default. I'm so, I'm so embarrassed to be playing on easy mode. But uh, that's the default setting, so that's what we went with. You get three continues on easy. The difficulty, I don't know if the difficulty changes anything about the game, but it changes the number of lives and continues you get, for sure. What was with Konami limiting continues on the Genesis? I mean, Konami limits continues quite a bit. Um, they didn't in Castlevania, but on the NES, Contra and Super C both have limited continues. Um, um, Contra 3 on the Super NES has limited continues. Zombies Ate My Neighbors has no continues. <laughs> But, I mean, you are right, because, like, Castlevania 1 doesn't... Castlevania 1 and 3 have unlimited continues, but and but Bloodlines has limited continues. On the Genesis. I don't remember Castlevania 4. I think that... I think that has unlimited continues. It must. It must, because I did bad. I did real bad on some of the stages in Castlevania 4. Mario Zone beaten. GG Salem. GG. Hey, Master Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you. I vote Wahaha Wednesdays or Treasure Tuesdays. I was gonna say if we did a if we did Wario Wednesday, you'd miss out on it all the time. It's a bebop from TMNT. I didn't look closely enough. Castlevania 4 does have unlimited continues. Happy Tuesday to you too, Frowny. Thank you, thank you. Castlevania 4 doesn't even need continues. I needed continues. I needed continues when I played it.
I don't think overall it's it's like it's not like the hardest game ever made or anything, but uh, there are definitely some spots where I got stuck for a while. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of instant kill spikes in Castlevania 4. Which is, I think is the worst of it. bad at this fish this time. Please give me some of that fruit. Victory. Nice. This new zone. Fun. There's a mummy boss that basically doesn't even fight back. <laughs> Think I find four more difficult than three these days, Chompy says. Definitely had a harder time with three than four. I actually just don't, I don't really mind limited continues, um, if I'm, in, if I'm enjoying the game. kind of a it's kind of a bummer <clears throat> excuse me it's kind of a bummer in some ways but i mean if the game is fun then it's actually uh you know it's not really so bad to have to, re to have to repeat sections because then you get to do them you get to do them better ideally <laughs> process of improvement. The only time I really mind limited continues is when I'm playing something just to get it over with. <laughs> The three bosses in a row during the ending with, uh, I find the three bosses in a row at the ending with death hard, Chompy says. 
That's the hardest part of the game, <laughs> but it's still Kate Dynamite says. I also just like the NES ones way more and have felt compelled to learn three well. Right on. I definitely want to play Castlevania 4 a bit more, but uh, as it currently stands, it's it's the ca one of the Castlevania games I like least. I like the look and feel of the NES ones a lot better, and I like I like Bloodlines more than Castlevania 4 because it feels more like an NES game. Ace Priven, welcome in. Bloodlines is great. And if Limited continues as your issue, the Konami code will provide you with nine lives and expert mode. I I uh, I knew the Konami code gave you expert mode, but I didn't know it gave you extra lives. I guess the Konami code, I guess the Konami code on the Genesis is, is ABC start, right? Because there's no select button. I don't know if I've ever thought about that before. I know what I know the Konami code and I know what it does in some games, but I have never I've never actually used it. says Ghostbusters Afterlife is absolute perfection. Ghostbusters theme plays. I haven't actually watched it. I, uh... I don't know. I've heard from a few people that they really like it. I think that, uh... My expectations of it are not incredibly high. <laughs> I forgot there's another phase to that boss. It's a proper sequel to 1 and 2, yeah, that's what I've heard. That's also what I'm very doubtful of. Thank you. 
Castlevania 4 and Bloodlines push the respective systems to their limits with music and graphics. Absolutely brilliant. They play fine too, uh, but they're both broken because of the low difficulty Dynamite says. Normal game only allows you up to five lives per continue, but with the code it goes to nine. I didn't know that. Four is a beautiful, messy game. <laughs> Four seems like the most uh, the most divisive Castlevania. I like it because the game is huge, way more levels than Bloodlines. Uh, I do understand. The end bit of Bloodlines is kind of trash, mostly because of the two starting screens. Yeah, the castle is rough. The boss rush is a breeze once you know how to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not usually very happy when the uh, when the when there's like a level gimmick that messes with my controls, and that's you know basically. Is basically the whole first part of the castle. I mean, the controls aren't really messed with technically in the in the first room where it's scrambled, but ooh, that scramble effect. I I don't know. I don't know about that. Not my favorite. Not my favorite part. But it doesn't ruin the game for me. It's just the part where I'm like, ah, I don't dig this. I find the original NES game much easier than uh, than either Castlevania 4 or Bloodlines. I mean, Castlevania 1 on the NES would be much easier for me than the other than those other two, but I've also played it so much more. <laughs> that uh it's hard for me to like it's hard for me to really judge them comparatively anymore. They made this huge humanoid robot, gave it arms and legs, so it could wobble around chaotically, Tuesday says. You got it. I mean... How, how malevolent would you have to be, Tuesday, to create a robot and not gift it with the ability to dance, right? Castlevania 1 is a tough game at first. Uh, but I agree. Uh, it's easier to learn how to cheese it, Chompy says. I always recommend Rondo of Blood if you want to play the real 16-bit. <laughs> the, the real 16-bit uh, Castlevania Dynamite says. Right on. Um, I've heard really good things about Rondo of Blood. I have not played it, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's one of those that like I'm keeping in my pocket. Because I hear it's really good all the time. Castlevania 1, 3, 4, Rondo of Blood, Game Boy Games, Dracula X, Vampire Killer. Uh, Aku Mon, I can't say that, Dracula are all great. I left out Castlevania 2. I haven't and, and won't forgive you. <laughs> Castlevania 2 is all right. It's not it's not a great it's not a very good game but it's all right. It's not terrible. Leave out Simon's quest but left in the adventure. Yeah, I agree with that. Castlevania the adventure is way better than Simon's quest. Every robot needs to be able to dance, Cal says. I couldn't agree more, Cows. Uh, if you'd like playing low percent, I guess. 
I don't know which one we're talking about. Are you saying that because Castlevania the Adventure doesn't have sub-weapons? You don't need sub-weapons. You got a flame whip. Ah. Playing Castlevania 1 without the sub weapons is actually a really is actually a really fun challenge. I haven't ever done I haven't ever done proper like full low percent with like no whip upgrades, but I've done I've done no sub weapons uh, deathless in Castlevania 1, and it really it really makes you learn to interact with the with the game in a new way. <laughs> and it's pretty rewarding. It's pretty rewarding when you pull it off. only is fun it's a lot more doable than true low percent yeah i have i've tried i tried low percent a little bit but i uh i couldn't get past frankenstein Someday, someday, like, I'd, I'd kind of like to go back to it, but, uh, we did so many Castlevania challenges. I don't know. It's, it, that one's really tough. Frankenstein can go and jump in a holy fire. <laughs> Whip only in Castlevania 1 is hard but fun. Yeah. really interacting with this boss properly I'm just kind of like trying to brute force him <laughs> what does low percent mean are y'all buying milk or what um, it means uh, it means no items at all so like no no sub weapons no uh, no uh, whip upgrades Dracula's number one weakness, 1% 1 strawberry milk. No items, only cookies. <laughs> There's a glitch in the Frankenstein fight that occurs randomly that stunlocks him without holy water. There's no uh, manip for it, though. Would be nice. It'd make low percent and whip only a lot easier. Yeah. Frankie and death are the worst, yeah. Yeah, the, the death fight never got easier for me. Whip only is theoretically doable for me, but I've never been able to pull it uh, out a good death battle under pressure, Chompy says. Yeah, 
I'll ever see the milk math comedy bit, Tally asks. I can't say that I have Tally. moment cows if you could uh, grab a discord invite for us for a uh, tally we'd be happy to have you join yeah cows will whisper you an invite we do all of our invites through whispers that's the uh, that's the one hoop that we make everyone jump through to uh to join the discord is you have to you have to get an invite through the whisper Managed the whip lock on Frankenstein a few times. Uh, even doing it for just a few seconds helps. Stripped of all advantages, Frankenstein and Igor is the hardest boss dynamite, says. I still, I would say that I struggled more with death than Frankenstein. Uh, still on whip only, but... They're both, they, you know. They're both nightmarish. I got the one up, yes. I wasn't exactly sure where to go for it, but I knew there was a one up somewhere if I kept going kept going high. Uh this is scary, this is very scary. Boy, that part is something else. Yeah, the general section would probably be the best place, Tally. I drop a link to the glitch I was talking about? Uh, if you whisper it to me, Spriven. I'll put it in the, uh, I'll put it in the chat for us if you, uh, if you whisper it to me first. Since I'm just standing right here, it's a good time. If you want to grab another, if you could uh, grab another invite, cows. 
Uh, we can uh, uh, we can invite Spriven in as well to the Discord. Thank you. <laughs> We're keeping you busy tonight. So this is a clip of the uh, this is a, a clip of a, of another stream doing the uh, Frankenstein stunning Frankenstein with the whip. If you want to check it out, uh, heads up. There's a uh, there's a non-family friendly image on screen <laughs> if you do choose to click on it. Thank you, cows. No, you're you're fine. You're fine, Spriven. You're sp it's it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Hey, Bort Jams, welcome in. to have you here. Welcome to Rocket Knight Adventures. Uh. I thought that I thought that my the odds of grabbing the bananas and the one up were pretty slim. I should have just I should have just went for the one up and ignored the bananas but I wanted to get both I am going to get both I'm getting them both this time just to prove I can victory I got DuckTales for Nest today. Oh, right on. I still haven't beaten that game. Um, it's pretty good. It's a little confusing. But it's a pretty cool game. It's a, a very nice find. Double KO. <laughs> That's not what I intended to do. I forgot my, uh, I forgot my rocket pack was charged. Hey, Driftwood, welcome in. How's Rocket Knight going? Good times, good times. I'm, uh, tonight's my first time ever playing this. I, uh, I got a, I've had a couple game overs, so I've gotten to try out a few of the levels multiple times. But, uh, yeah, I've, I've basically, I've, uh, I've instantly fallen in love with this one. This is a lot of fun.
Get the one up. No! Ah, I'm doing so bad. DuckTales is fantastic. Best NES Capcom game after Mega Man 2 and 3, Dynamut says. I have to think about what my favorite... My favorite Capcom games on NES are probably Ghosts and Goblins and Mega Man 1. I disagree. I disagree with that one. I think his arms are a little longer than mine. game as a kid. Haven't played it since then, though. This is on the Genesis. The sequel is on the Super NES, but this is the, the first one is only on the Genesis. Good thing there's that uh, one up there. I'd be in big trouble. It's like they expected me to die here. I got my number, that's for sure. Hey, Yaden, welcome in. Pleasure to have you here. Never played this one. Looks like something I would have enjoyed. How is it? It's so very good, Yaden. I'm doing kind of poorly at this part here. Don't let that fool you, though. This game is really good. Top tier. We all ate it. Robot arm swing sounds like a zipper. I don't know that I caught that sound.
Looks fun to me. I've never played it either. I can I can definitely recommend it. Thank you for the GGs. Nine lives, let's go. I mean, fingers crossed. I would hope nine lives would be enough, but you know, I've 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 I've, I've made some pretty colossal blunders, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of enemies that, like, if you're damaging them, you seem to be able to overlap them. But that's definitely not the case with every enemy. <laughs> Being able to do that sometimes, though, makes me very, um... Not properly cautious. Hey, Sparrow, welcome in. Good to have you with us again, my friend. I hope you've been doing well. This part here, you just want to look for the one that has, uh... Oh, I'm taking so much damage. You want to look for the one that has, uh, rockets, because that's the one that's going to fire missiles at you. I have so much less health than I did last time. Gonna mostly lurk. Game looks crazy. Best of luck with it. This game is really good, Sparrow. Uh, I play almost nothing but shoot 'em up, school says, but I still have a rough time with this stage. Stop leading with my head. <laughs> Oh, 
Why am I taking so much damage? That's like, okay, so that gives me a choice between uh, damage and uh, health. So, like, that's kind of cool. Ah! Uh. I'm, I'm figuring out how more of the level works every now and then. I did a bad job at anticipating when he was going to fire. Hey, we got him though. It's actually really hard to time, though. Oh, invert face cam, we can do that. Why is the boss invincible? I don't understand. Wow, that takes a, that causes a lot of damage. Think this is the final boss, Ghoul's ass? Um, maybe. Couldn't say. Never give up. Trust your instincts. It seems, uh, it seems like it could be final boss-ish. I try not to speculate on those kind of things too much because it tends to invite people to tell me whether or not I'm wrong, and I never and I never want to know. Oh, 
This phase is the furthest I've seen. I don't think I figured out how to damage this guy, though. But this... This has a very, like, final boss kind of feel about it to me. Especially since it's making me repeat so much of the battle every time. That's all right. I'll uh, I'll become good at this. Keeping him up too high, I can't see what he's doing. <laughs> hey, Vintage, welcome in. thing that like worms its way around. <laughs> You have to press the button every time you attack. I can't imagine how tired your thumb is. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, no turbo feature. It's all right though. So many of my, so many of my favorite games, you have to mash the attack button like crazy. It certainly wears it. I mean, it, it certainly wears me out, but I'm also just kind of used to it. I think we're gonna get it this time. Hey, 
It's a robot made of elastic. Fantastic music. Oh, yeah. Same way I got hit last time, running into the hand. That's not good. I need to not develop that habit. Victory! Hey! Let's go! Oh, there might be another stage! Thank you for the trophies, cows! There he is! Alright! Hey, that's good. That felt, uh... That felt uh, epic. Hey, thank you for the uh, bits, Hooked on Pod. Thank you for the 100 bits. The Pig Star. I'm glad there's another stage. Whoa. This guy might not be so bad. That hurt me. It did. Thank 
thank goodness. Oh. Whale on him seems like a viable strategy. Maybe not. from the top. I thought that was a sound strategy.
Hey, victory. Not victory. Oh, he got me. Wow. What a battle. I missed. I missed. This uh this stage goes on and on. I'm on my last continue. The stakes are very high right now, my friends. One up though. That's definitely a good thing. Oh, I don't like how bouncy everything is here though. I missed. Oh, 
I understand the logic of the fight. trying to get out of the way. I was too slow and then my aim was too bad. The things move, were moving around the room counterclockwise the first time, so I thought for sure that they were going to be, they were going to reverse. Slow down. <laughs> uh. I think I learned most of what there was to learn, though. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I don't know anything. Guess I better be leaving. Oh my goodness. Okay. 
Kaboom. <laughs> Hooked on pot. Thank you for the bits again. Thank you for the hundred bits. Ooh, he's still coming for me. I am, so far as I can tell, unable to attack. Now I'm dead. What in the world? I'm all the way back here. This game feels bitter and resentful now. A weird sad like thing that Superman would have to fight and throw into the ocean. <laughs> I don't like that last bit there. That just, uh, that just makes it feel like Konami is upset that I beat this boss. raid coming our way it looks like hey Ellie beans welcome in thank you for the raid welcome to rocket night adventures on Genesis welcome to your friends We're very happy to have you here of course how was, uh, looks like you're playing Final Fantasy? How did your stream go? I'm on the last life of my last credit, so everyone who's coming in, you may be about to see this whole game. <laughs> There's a very good chance I'm about to have to restart. more people tonight than I usually do right on I'm very grateful that you decided to come our way after your stream so we've defeated that boss before but there's another section after that that is uh I mean look at my health bar <laughs> I don't remember if it refills or not but uh, I'm in trouble Hey, Death by Staple Gun. Welcome in. Good to have you with us again. Uh, uh, we flip upside down sometimes. It's a channel point thing. To uh, turn the frown upside down for a little while. Alright, so I don't think I can actually do anything except just pray that this guy decides not to hit me. I think this is survival. 
and I'm very bad at it. No, he looked like he was going to go the other direction. bit at all. I think we're okay now, though. I mean, this looks like the end. Victory! That last little piece, that last little piece was terrible, though. I loved this, I loved everything about this game except that last little bit. We'll go back to normal now. Uh, with, with half a heart left. Thank you for the GGs. Thank you, uh, thank you, Vintage. Uh, is that D Gopher? Welcome in. Thank you for the GG. Thank you, Tally. Thank you for the trophies, cows. Thank you, Hooked on Pot. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the additional hundred bits. I uh, appreciate your generosity, my friend. You're very good to me. Uh, I have to run to bed. Have fun, Frowny. <laughs> Thank you again for the raid, Illy Beans. I hope that you uh, get some well-deserved rest. I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that you uh, stopped in, and we will do our best to try and uh, take good care of your people. Let's enjoy our credit roll here. <laughs> Just trying to check to make sure I didn't miss anything from the chat. If I've overlooked somebody, I'm very sorry. So I guess I will, uh... I mean, I'll have to play the game again. Thank you for the, uh pistachios uh hook on pot because we only did it on uh, easy mode <laughs> the game the game is on easy mode by default i did not turn the difficulty down but the default difficulty is easy and there is a normal and a hard but what i don't know yet i don't know if there's actually any difficult difference between the difficulties other than your lives and credits The options menu suggests that it could just be lives and credits that are different. Try normal mode. But that would be very weird to me. That was easy. That was easy. I've beaten this more than once, and I forgot that last annoying boss survival part when I played it. Yeah, I don't like that. I would be fine if that was another phase, but I don't like that it's survival.
It took our hero, Agent Brownie, four hours to take on the Mighty Pig Army and beat the Land of Swine on easy mode. How long will hard take Brownie on hard mode? Find out next time on Retro Regret. <laughs> I did a very poor radio announcer voice. As in, I didn't even attempt to do a radio announcer voice. Well, do we want to take a look at normal mode? I think I do. Oh, it even turned up the difficulty for me. Or do I just want to dive directly into hard mode? Let's take a look at hard mode. Let's be brave. I don't know if we'll make it all the way through hard mode, but I'm going to take a look at it. I rewrote one part twice and, and still failed at the edit. It, hap it happens to the best of a Serac of Lamb. I need to be very careful. I can't lose a life right away because we don't we actually don't start with any extra lives. Alright, so far none of the none of the enemies seem to be harder yet. I mean we are just still on the very first few screens. <laughs> But, like, these guys don't take two or three hits or anything like that. Those uh, guys in the car still only took two hits, so. Oh, no. I died in one hit. Whoa, is that what hard mode is? Wait a minute. Hard mode is one hit death. Hard mode, you have to do damageless. Uh, good night, Dynamut says. Sorry if I came off as a spoiler punk. I was in the moment. <laughs> You're all right, Dynamut. I hope that you have a great rest of your night. Thank you for being here with us. Hopefully we will get to see you again very soon. Um, all right. I'm not ready for hard mode. One hit. You have to do it damageless. Wow. Wait a moment. All right, I have to. I have to stay on hard mode for another moment. I've got to. I gotta see. I gotta see a couple things. Hey, Dignan. Welcome in. Good to see you again. I'm, uh, so I really enjoyed this game. I am not, I am not up for a damageless run. Like, Damageless Castlevania is fun, right? Because it's, like, very tightly designed. Uh, 
This game is like a lot messier. <laughs> One up still exists. That's what I was curious about, whether or not one up still existed on hard mode. They do. Ah. And, uh, laughably, health items still exist on hard mode. Yeah, probably just for score. It still feels like an insult, though. Now I'm just seeing how far I can get. Boy, I can't believe... Damn, I can't believe hard mode is mandatory damageless. That is so rough. It's very, it's actually very disappointing to me <laughs> that it's, that it's like that. Like a, a hard mode that's tougher but reasonable is one thing. <laughs> Almost clicked play on Metroid Fusion on the GBA. Almost. Then I remembered what boss I'm at, Salem says. I'm trying to remember. I think maybe you were at the underwater boss? understand how this part works now. And just in time, I guess. The fire, the horizontal fires come out in three different predetermined heights. That's what I 
I mean, I got that they came out at different heights before, but I didn't. I didn't actually appreciate the way it worked before. Now I. Now I see. Well, no wonder the game gives you so many respawning one-ups. The underwater snake thing. No, what am I doing? It's one of my favorite bosses, Tally says. Said boss can eat a world-sized spike of death. Uh, Brownie, are you familiar with the Vic-20? I'm gonna let you down there, sir, Rack of Lamb. I'm afraid I'm not. Um, I think the C64 Mini will play Vic-20 Vic games, but I have I have no experience with its uh, software. Or its hardware. Salem's excited for the Vic-20, though. I don't know thing as well. I have one complete in box, but I've yet to set it up to test it. Wow. Yeah, uh, Salem or, uh, Salem or Sparrow would have to tell you more about it, I'm afraid, Sir Rack of Lamb. Among others, we have a few other microcomputer enthusiasts who uh, drop in from time to time, too. I don't even know if there's a game in the box or not. I love micro old microcomputers, Salem says. may be where my hard mode aspirations fall apart. Alright, let me do just a little bit more science here. Let me go back to easy mode for a moment.
I wanted to see how much damage the uh, regular enemies caused on easy mode. Because now I'm going to put it on normal and see what the damage looks like. I mean, I can see why, uh, I can see why easy's the default. If that's it, if, if hard, hard mode being what it is, I would have the default set as far away from that as possible. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna guess this does two hearts of damage. A heart and a half, so it's a little tougher on normal mode. Well, let's see how far we get on a normal mode playthrough. I think I'll try my best and play until uh, until the game over. And let's just uh, let's just see how well we can do. I don't think I need to grind all the way through for the normal mode victory tonight. We could maybe throw in a different game uh, instead of doing that. But uh, let's just see. Let's just see how this goes. Actually, I'm going to take a moment to split my VOD here at this very awkward place. <laughs> 